Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Magnus and today we're going to unbox a Catalyst switch. It's a C9348P-A. And I have no idea what that stands for, but it's a 48 port uh, office network switch with uh, PoE. So let's start. And this switch, it actually comes with uh, both redundant power supply, stacking capabilities, so a lot of cool stuff, and uh, 10 gigs Ethernet ports. So first of all, let me see if I can show you here. It has a lot of stuff with it. So cables. And if you're going to use your own cables, make sure to have these cables. You see, it's like a little hole there. So, two cables because it's redundant power supplies. Some uh, product stuff then we have this one and this is a stacking power cable so this one this is power stack and then we have one of these Hard to see in the plastic, so I remove it. This is a stack cable. Stack cable. So as you see right away, it's not compatible with the old ones for like the 3750s, etc. Don't know if this is higher bandwidth. I believe so. Then we have normal rack mounting kit, same as in all other Cisco switches. And it's this normal, normal rack mounting. Then we have, ooh, here we have the PSUs. So the power supplies. Open one of these as well. And this is um, 715 watts. There is different ones that you can buy. It depends on how much uh, PoE you want to have available. And we have two. Then you have the switch itself. And as you see, it has a new color. Cisco did have like brown and then they have green or bluish. And uh, now they have a more modern take. Hold up. Let's open this up. So here we have it. It's like, it's not white. It's more like a silver grayish, like this. So we will add the, the power supplies and the, see the fan trays, etc. as well. So here you have the front of the switch. So you see that it has 48 normal coupled ports and then it has one module and this module it can be 
different type of modules in here. I have selected to have an 8 port uh, SFP Plus to have 10 gig ports. Then you see here, you have the new type of um, console cable and you have a USB port. On the back side, you do have here, this is for the SSD. So you can put the SSD drive, if you just remove this. Let's see how to remove it. Like this, then you can put an SSD there. Uh, I have some switches with it. I'm not sure what to use it for yet. And then you have the normal console port. Then you have a management port. And here you have redundant fans and they are quite small, so they make um, some noise. And all of them are removable. I believe they are hot swappable. Then you have this power supply and it's as I said 715 watts and you just slide them in and it will click. And as I pointed out before you need to have the cable type with this little hole in it so you can fit it. And like this. And uh, here you do have power. As I mentioned before, this one has stacking capabilities and also power. So here is the stacking port. I don't know which way it should be. It's this way. Yeah, feels like it. And then you just tighten the screw here. Maybe it's this way. Yeah, that feels a lot better. So it's this side. This side should be up. This side should be down. And you see that this has a, yeah, a mark there. So like this, just press it in. It will click and then you just screw it together. And when it comes to the when it comes to the power cable, it looks like this. I believe there is no difference. So just take this out. And then it will fit in these two holes. Either way. So I have uh, powered everything up. And as you can see, you have LEDs saying the status of it. And you can remove like this. So it's hot swappable. And when you press it back in, it will turn green when it's ready. So the idea of this with stack power is that you don't need to have power supplies in all of the switches if you don't need to, if it's easier with cabling, etc. I of course recommend you to have uh, power supplies in, in all of them, but it's possible. So if you want to do that, you need to use this stackable power. And then it's you going from uh, one, the green, We will connect the yellow one as well. So the yellow one will go like this. And let's see when it's power on. As you see, it's power on, and this cable is for redundancy purposes. So 
like so. And you can have in total three switches like this. So what I can do <laughs> more or less now is I can remove this. Oh, we take this one, it's easier. No, this one. Remove this. And you see that the switch is still active. I can move this power supply here. Connect it back in. So it doesn't matter where I have the power supplies. So if you only have two PSUs and two switches in a stack, this is a good way to get redundancy. So next up is the stack cable. So this is the stack cable and it will go like this. The flat surface up. Flat surface again, up. And flat surface. And flat surface. So, now it's fully connected. Normally you have more than two switches, maybe you have three. So I will put the picture from Cisco's page on how to uh, connect when you have three. There is some limitations when you do this one. You can only have four switches in one ring. So you can stack four of them with this power stacking. If you stack in a different way, in a starter topology, you can stack eight. So thank you for watching, I hope you did like it and if you want to see more videos like this, unboxing or tech reviews of mainly Cisco or Checkpoint stuff, please uh, like the channel and hit subscribe and I see you in the next one, take care.